afternoon as you join me on a very sunny Saturday afternoon at Wembley Stadium. A very special occasion for the FA Vars Cup Final between two Midland sides, VS Rugby and Hales Owen Town. It promises to be a cracker. Well, the ground is filling up. As I say, it's a magnificent afternoon. We're looking forward to a good game. But let's, first of all, hear from our outside broadcast team. First trip to Wembley? Yes. Did you, did you travel down this morning or come down last night? This morning. And did you all come down in the family car? No, oh, coach. Coach? Oh, all the sports together. Thank yes. You. yes. Who's your favourite player? Who's your favourite player, Philip? Quick. Oh, I like uh, Johnston. That's a Johnston brothers and Moss. The Johnston brothers. And Moss. Yeah. Jeff Moss, is he? And Coldy cut the keepers good. Anyone else? All of them. <laughs> yeah, Stuart Edmonds, the captain. Stuart Edmonds. Why do you like Stuart Edmonds especially? He's nice. Good. Final word? Score? 3-2. Uh, 3-2. So how's Owen? 3-2. Definitely. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot, though. Go on. <laughs> Right, who's going to win? How's that? Oh. What score? 2 0. Are you, like, are you regular supporters of rugby? Yeah. Good you, you go every Saturday? Yeah, yeah I'm a fan Good Mitchell was our sports teacher at school. All right, one of you. Final score? 2 0. Oh, yeah, 2 0. 2 0. Are you a regular supporter? Pretty regularly in our work shifts, but when I can get up there, I go up and see the local lads. Or... I believe since they've been doing so well, Hal's Owens gates have gone up by six, seven hundred percent or something. True. True, yes. Yes, they've done very well, and I think, uh, you know, they've got a decent side, young lads, and they've done very well to get here. What do you think the strengths of the Hal's Owens team are? Well, uh, the two twins up front, you know, the joints and them, very good. All dressed up for the day? Why not? Why not indeed? Good day, isn't it? Lovely weather. Well, it's all right. When did you come down? Right. Just an hour ago. It's okay. I hope our team wins. <laughs> Are you from rugby? No, he is. Not immediately. No, not immediately. Northern Ireland. And do you follow rugby very regularly or just the yeah. occasional game? No, it came to a game. Can I ask how long you've been watching rugby? No, no I haven't. Can I persist? No. <laughs> no, very rare, very rare. So you just come down for a special occasion? Special occasion. Yeah. I suppose the town's half empty, is it? Well, I should think so. Who's going to win? I reckon rugby. Give us a score. 2-1. 2-1 one. Two one to rugby. Thanks a lot. Okay. They've had some close games, haven't they, this season? They've had very close games, yes. They've had very close games. Yes. No. Can you give us a score? I don't think there'll be much in it. I think we just win about 2-1. 2-1. Yeah, that was win. You'd put your money on that, would you? 2-1, yes. Nice to see you. Nice. Now, it's a little difficult to guess from your colours who you're supporting. Can you tell us who you are supporting? Yes, sir. It says it on the bell. It says, presented to Rugby's Town Crier in the middle where it matters. Quite right. Come down today or did you come down yesterday? I came down today. Did you come dressed as that or did you get changed when you got here? No, no, no. I got come down dressed as this seen as many people off as I could because everybody's full of it. Come on, rugby, let's hear it! Rugby! Give us a score. The score, I predict 2-1. Uh, 2-1. Two one. Two one. Two one. Two one. Thanks a lot. This is Lady Melzo and I come from rugby. And we are talking about this. You two rugby supporters. Melzo, Melzo, rugby, you're best of friends, are you? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we don't. Till the kickoff. Oh no! no. Oh, no. no. Okay. We, we, we decided what, yeah, oh, months ago. Yes. If we got here, we'd cheer it six months each. Are you standing or are you sitting? Oh, we're sitting. Sitting. Oh. Best of day. Oh. Comfort. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sco one score each. One word each. Who's going to win? One to us. Tails Owen. Yes. And two one. Two. A good match. A good match. Very good match. match. That's all we. Give us a score. Mm, one nothing to us. <laughs> Gotta be. <laughs> so on the basis of that, it'll be two old or extra time. Okay. Thanks very much. Okay. Have a nice afternoon.
what do you think? Uh, it's tremendous. Uh, just can't wait to get started and get it over and done with. Uh, fabulous. Lee, goals on this pitch? Well, I've only missed one round at the moment. That was in the second round against Bridge North and how to poke one in today. You know, it's tremendous. Let me ask you, I mean, you're both forward players. <coughs> Does it help? being twin brothers well yeah because we know where like if I got the ball I know where he's going to run from I'll just think it over and he could do the same but, you know, sort of. same goes the other way does it yeah, yeah. He's a Les Randall looking forward to it tremendous what can you see you know what can you say I mean it's, a, it's probably all we said before but it's just ice I mean I know that all well it's just tremendous I mean the people that are here you know it's just great. When you first started kicking the ball outside school matches, did you ever think you'd end up at Wembley? Not really. Yeah, I mean, I suppose everybody said it. It's everybody's dream, obviously. I mean, I don't think anybody really thought of it much this season. But we're a good side. I feel, I feel great for the other, the other lads who are in the side. So I know we'd all be rooting for them anyway. I think we all no problems. Too disappointed, really. I consider myself lucky to be part of the squad, and I just I'm confident that they'll think I'll win. No problem. No, I'm, a, I'm a little bit sick, but uh, I think I'll come back next year and have a game. Still, I think you got a chance of coming back. Yeah, I might as well. I ain't too old yet. <laughs> you've only got to win half a dozen games, haven't you? See, it's only six. Yes. It looks as if you've got to have the disappointment. Anyway, you must be. You must be really sick, but that's how it goes. You know. Cheer up. It's, uh, it's disappointing to be out of the side, especially on a occasion like this. But I think most of the lads feel that being part of the squad is, and coming down here for the weekend is, is very good and, and enjoyable. And uh, I think everybody's had, had a good time and enjoyed themselves. And just hope the lads play well enough this afternoon and we'll all be happy, I think. That's a fabulous day. Oh, smashing day. It's just something you dream about, isn't it, in football? Especially for Englishmen. I am a jock, but I'm so, I'm so proud to be here, yes. What about you? Very emotional, yeah. I've seen my, seen my family, my son in the stands, and I wanted to cry. I, I would, you, years back. would you like to be playing? Oh, wouldn't be bad, would it? I think after all the euphoria it goes here, I'm glad I'm not playing. Players nervous? No, they seem relaxed. Uh, yeah. See, both relaxed. sets seem very relaxed. Right. You know, whether whether when they come out and when we got in the park, well, we don't know. I think they'll be okay. I think. It's been some three close games this season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been good matches. Real good. Well balanced matches. sides, evenly yeah. matched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, they're doing better than us. Yeah. This is a one-off job. Prediction? Oh no, I don't make any predictions. You see, hope to win. you seem to think that. The game and the event itself is probably the most important thing. Would that be right? No, I think uh, yeah, the game, the game and the event is very important, but uh, uh, the result is very important here because both teams certainly don't want to lose. Yeah. Same for Hales, Owen. Well, we've come a long way. Yeah. We've played a lot of games, and this is the pinnacle of the season. And uh, I just hope we do well for the two sets of fans. You know, they've spent a lot of money and they've got down here, and I hope it's a good. Good game, which it will be anyway between the two sides. That's on the spot in a different manner. Who's the danger man for Hales Owen? Yeah, the 11 of them. Good answer. Them. Yep, it's full stop. Good answer. Would you like to pick one out for Hales Owen? Uh, for rugby, sorry. Exactly the same. Exactly the same. Very diplomatic answers. Best of luck to both teams. I hope it's a great day for both yeah, of you. Thanks very okay, much. thanks a lot. Bye. For Hales Owen Town, it's Coldicott, Penn, Edmonds, Lacey, Randall, Shilrock, Hazelwood, Moss, Woodhouse, Johnson and his twin brother, Paul Johnson and Lee Johnson. John Smith on the bench as sub. And for VS Rugby we have Burton, McGinsey and Harrison, Preston, Knox and Evans, Ingram, Setchell, Owen, Beecham and Crawley with Martin Haskins as their substitute. Family thoughts will run high this afternoon as Jimmy's boys line up against the Hales Owen Terrors, looked after by Paddy Page. And what a grand sight to see Tom Finney 
gracing the turf at Wembley again. Tom Finnelli, former Preston plumber, as they called him in his professional days, the little wizard of Preston North End, now an OBE and an honorary member of the Football Association, comes out to be received by the two teams. Tom Finney, a magnificent winger. In his heyday with Preston and England, of course, there was always the debate raging, who was the better? Tom Finney or the immaculate Stanley Matthews? Both were right-wingers. Tom liked to play on the right, but so did Matthews. And at one time, he was an automatic number seven. Well, both eminent men's. Stanley became Sir Stanley Matthews the first football night. And Tom, in his heyday, the peerless Tom Finney, switched over to the left wing so that England had two magnificent wingers. Stan Matthews and this same Tom Finney, still looking sprightly and going out there, shaking hands with the two teams. I'm sure that he'll be feeling the excitement building up as he comes back here to Wembley, the scene of some of his great triumphs. Well, some excited fans from the Midlands down here today, and they're making themselves heard. It's the first time either side have been in the FA Vars final, but it's a sobering thought to think that 340 teams started out on this trail to Wembley, and just these two have made it, Hales Owen Town and Rugby. It's their first time, as I said, that they've, they've, in the competition's history, that two teams from the same league have contested the final. So they're really making some historic uh, indents today. The best position that the, either of these clubs have previously reached in the bars was the fourth round. Well, this season, they've really transcended that. <laughs> 